Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about uh, the same thing and how you can install on your Windows 2019 server. And I will show how you can install it as a service in the background. So if you reboot your server, the background, uh, the, the backup uh, system is still running. So if you have multi-machines, uh, multi it will work together. Normally, if you don't do this, it will require a login and then you need to click on uh, the service. But uh, that's what I gonna do now. I'll just uh, remove this uh, away so it's running in the background for you. So let's begin. And before we begin, I really hope you want to subscribe to this uh, channel. Go in, uh, in the button to the right and click on the thing and then you subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions about me, about this uh, thing thing or about anything else, then please leave a comment and then I'll try to answer you as fast as possible. I really hope you want to like and share this video. So let's go into download this swing thing on Windows. So click on the download. You need to go in for swingthing.net and then scrolling down until you see the Windows and click on the uh, 46 bit, 64 bits, yeah. And then you download it and open the folder. Let's just minimize this browser and open one more. Let's go in for the C drive and uh, then we just open it and pack it out here in the C and uh, I will just rename the folder and then we are good to go. Now if I'm running this one it will uh, it will basically run the application and uh, that's what we're going to do now is uh, how we can working with the application and how you can start up uh, in the GUI interface and that's what we're going to do now. So to be sure about this uh, same thing was working, just double click and then you can see the command line here is so working and a browser will be open here. And that's okay. First time we are open this, it will uh, ask about uh, about we have uh, anonymous using reporting and we don't say, we say no, we don't need this for, for the server and I'll close it down. And uh, then we just uh, working as we want, I'll just go in for the settings going for the GUI and I will just say admin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and I will just say don't start the browser and I think that's what we're gonna do now and general yes that's fine and then we go in here to say admin and we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and uh, this is the default folder path. So if you see the default here, it's meaning explain the users and administrator. So that's that's okay for us. We're just using this for testing, so no problem. So let's uh, create the service. I will just uh, close this down and uh, minimize this, close the application, try to start again. It should not start in the browser. If I've done it correct, as it's, it's working. So that's perfectly. You need to click on the Windows icon here and say uh, Task Manager. I think that's uh, Task Scheduler. Sorry. And then we open it up and go in for the Task Scheduler library. Right click here and we want to create a new task. The name should be the sync thing. That's what we're going to do. And uh, we we'll run this about the user is, uh, is logged in or not, and we do not to store the password. This task will only have uh, access to the local computer resources. Then we're going for the trigger. I'll add the trigger to say uh, add startup, and then we enable it. So that's mean when we reboot the system, then it will add the, this uh, this task. Then we're going for the actions, going for the actions here, and start up the application here, and uh, going for the computer, C drive, and shrink, shrink thing. Double click on it, and just click OK. Then we need to go in for the uh, settings, and uh, we don't want to stop it. And um, don't if it's running more than days, 
But what we want to do is uh, run the task as soon as possible after a schedule start. After uh, after a schedule start is missing, we don't care about this part if uh, some schedule is not running. Uh, so we don't want to do this. But what we're going to do now is say if the task failed, restart every uh, 15 minutes. So if this task crashed, it should be restarting again and we will try about 10 times before we don't try it again. So that's fine. Let's run it to see about it's running. And let's go in about uh, here and see about it's running. And if you're going to stop, you want to end it. And we still have it. So it's okay. Let's uh, reboot the server about see it's uh, starting when we when we reboot it as it want to expect. Now when the server is rebooted, then we can uh, just say 100 and this one, and we can see about something here, and you can see it's now it's running. So everything here is cool. So now we have the scheduled job about the, the Windows 2090 server and it's running perfectly as we want to expect. Thank you so much for being here today and I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can do it in the right corner below and then just press another thing. If you have any questions about me, about what I'm doing, about this video, please make comments below and I'll try to answer you as fast as possible. Thank you so much and I really hope you want to like and share this video. Hope to see you next time. Bye.